WBTC, the voice of Central Jersey. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282. Or toll free at 888-545-9282. 737 back on Jersey Central on the new talk radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Good news are... Studio webcam, the issues have been resolved. We have our audio back. We have our video back. So if you normally uh, like to log in and watch the morning show, go right ahead. We have our uh, video and audio both fixed. Many thanks to Mr. Fancy, who came in nice and early to resolve this. I love bombarding people before they even get their coat off. Oh, my God, get to the studio. you got to fix this right away. But he came in and got us back up and running. So you could visit uh, our web feed, go to our website, click on the studio cam. Everything is back to normal. And uh, you will want to be watching the webcam in the 8 o'clock hour for uh, something very cool that's going on with WCTC. The visual will help me kind of talk about what we're doing. So uh, make sure you're logged on and and checking out the webcam after 8 o'clock. All right. Let's get right to the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline. Welcome in our special guest this morning. She is the executive director of the Black Mariah Film Festival, which kicks off a little bit later on this week. And uh, lots happening with this festival. Uh, so let's welcome in Jane Stewerwald, who is with us here this morning on WCTC. Hi, Jane. It's Bert Barron. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Bert, and hello to everyone who's up. Everyone's up today. It's a Monday. <laughs> we got to get going yes, again today, that's right? right? Thanks for your time this yes. morning. Uh, 35th year, I understand, of the Black Mariah Film Festival. Uh, talk about it for people that might not be familiar with it. Yes, that's true. We are in our 35th consecutive year of programming short films in New Jersey, across the United States, and across the pond as well. We have programs that go on in the U.K. and in Rome, Italy as well. So this is very much an international festival. It is an international film festival, yes. Very cool. That's Uh, true. uh, Are these award-winning films that have uh, already won some awards that make this festival and people get to come out and see them? Well, as a matter of fact, yes, that's true. I just got an email this morning from one of the animators whose work is being uh, featured this season. And um, in her note to me, she said that she's already gotten 30,000 hits nice. of her film um, that's called The Lost Mariner. Very interesting film by Tess Martin, yes. Great, okay. And uh, we get underway uh, with the Jersey portion of this. Uh, On Thursday night, you want to walk us through the schedule of events? I would love to. On Thursday night, we kick off our premiere at New Jersey City University, which is our festival's home base. Um, The uh, program is free and open to the public. It starts at 8 o'clock p.m. at the college in the Gothic Lounge of New Jersey City University. It's a lovely venue. And two of the top award-winning filmmakers will be there. Julie Winokur, who is a a renowned filmmaker. She works with her husband, who's a photojournalist, um, Ed Kashi. And uh, her film will be featured that evening. She lives in Montclair, New Jersey. And another film being featured is a great animated piece called Teeth by Tom Brown. He's coming out from Brooklyn, and he'll be there, too, for Q&A on Thursday night. Wonderful. And uh, we kind of yeah. move on through the weekend. We've got uh, some events. Uh, there's a short film, uh, uh, short films and a reception uh, on Saturday. Yes. That's also in Jersey That's City. Right. Also in Jersey City, our home. And that program will be shown at Art House Productions, which is on 136 Magnolia Ave. It's a short walk from the Journal Square path. Mm-hmm. And we have a reception before the film that night. Um, A Jersey City artist, Mike DeFeo, will be showing his photo and uh, also performing music. Um, We're going to have a lovely reception before the screening, and we have a ton of filmmakers coming out for that show in Jersey City. I think we'll probably have six of the filmmakers that are in the festival this season uh, in the house that night. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's excellent. you, yeah, you yeah. Always, you encourage the people to come out, Jane, and uh, and talk about their oh, films yeah. and kind of interact with the with the moviegoers, right? That's encouraged. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Um, and that's one of the things that sets Black Mariah apart from a lot of destination festivals. You know, it's like a couple weeks and everybody goes and it's like partying and whatever, which is fine, you know. But Black Mariah, the difference between us 
um, is that we actually go to where the people want to see the work. We bring the films to venues all over the country. So to try to make the work more accessible. Nice. And then the uh, Jersey yeah. portion uh, wraps up uh, with a matinee on Sunday and uh, something very cool there that we sort of say <laughs> thank you to the person who gave us the motion picture in the first place, right? That's right. Well, we're named for Thomas Edison's film studio, which they called the Black Mariah. Very cool. Um, there were these, you know, paddy wagons, black paddy wagons, and, and, and Edison's workers said, you know, this studio looks like one of those paddy wagons, and hence the Black Mariah, and that's how we got our name. So on um, our matinee on Sunday, and it's before the Super Bowl, so you don't have to worry. You can still come out to see the 2 o'clock show at the West Orange Dine-In Theater. It's an AMC theater, so you can also have a burger with your movies in West Orange. And uh, there will be filmmakers there, and then not the least of which will have a cake to set up to celebrate um, Mr. Edison's birthday. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> what a great way to wrap up a film I know, festival it's fun. with a birthday still, cake for Thomas Edison. Right? Can't, can't <laughs> beat it. Then we do still have two more programs right out of the gate in New Jersey. Um, one is on Friday night, um, February 12th at Ramapo College. Ramapo College of New Jersey has a fabulous, fabulous uh um, theater called the Berry Center. So that's on Friday night, uh, Jan uh, February 12th. And then the following weekend, another one of our favorite venues is the Madison Arts and Cultural Alliance. And they will be hosting us on Friday night, February 19th, um, at the Madison Library on Keep Street. So we have a lot of shows uh, right out of the gate um, in February in New Jersey. Great venues, great destinations. Yeah. Uh, that Ramapo, that, that's a nice part of Jersey. I haven't been up there in a while, but that's uh, that's Beautiful. a real nice destination there. Oh, it really is. Where yeah. can someone go, Jane, uh, for tickets or schedule or more info? Is there a website you have set up? Absolutely. Um, our website is www.blackmaria, and that's spelled M-A-R-I-A, Mariah. Org. Sounds good. So I'm gonna, we have the, yeah, I'll put a link. A schedule. Okay, I'm going to put a link up on our Facebook fan page where people can just click and it will take you right to that that page there for all the information. So. Oh, what, thanks, Bert. Thank the, you so much. What's That's the cool? What, what's the coolest thing for you to be an executive director of a film well, festival? What, what what makes you excited about this? Well, actually, it's the it's the films. The films are extraordinary. Um, you know, these are just not boilerplate commercial cinema. You know, with explosions and and car chases. These works are so diverse and so passionate and so unusual that um, you know the fact that I get to see all of this just so diverse and wonderful art that's being made. I, that's really you know the best part. And working with these filmmakers who are. Fantastic. Good for yeah. you. Well, congrats, yeah, congratulations, congratulations uh, on the festival, Jane, and uh, and have a lot of fun with that. I appreciate your time this morning, and and uh, roll them as they say. It's time to start the movies <laughs> now, right? <laughs> Very Thank good. Thank you so much. My You're pleasure, so Jane. Have a great yeah. day. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay, All right. Take Bye. care. All right, uh, Jane Stewartwald, my guest, the executive director of the Black Mariah Film Festival. I will put that website uh, link up on our Facebook fan page, uh, blackmariah.org. You'll be able to click on that, get the schedule. Uh, great venues, great destinations as well. Film festivals uh, are so much fun, aren't they? But uh, she was my guest on the Rarity Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline. Rarity Bay Medical Center, the home of 3D mammography, 40% more accurate than traditional mammography, reducing the